Recently, Commissioners of Education in the 36 states of the Federation, Permanent Secretaries, Chairmen and Representatives of the Basic Education Boards and other stakeholders in the nation's education sector converged in Abelkuta, the capital of Ogun State, for the 60th National Council on Education meeting with the theme, Access and Equity, Imperative to National Development. Speaking at the meeting, the Commissioner for Education in Ogun State, Barista Shedun Udubel, spoke on the achievements recorded by the administration of Governor Ibikuli Amusu in the state's education sector. It will interest you to know that the state government allocated a minimum of 22% of our budget annually to education sector since the inception of this administration. <laughs> Moreover, in consonance with the free education legacy of our founding fathers like late Chief Wafi Maulo, our educational system in Ogun State at both primary and secondary level is totally free with abolition of tuition fees and all forms of levies. In line with the theme of this year's National Council on Education Meeting, Access and Equity, Imperative for National Development, Ogun State Government has opened a wider access to schooling and gives opportunity to all children of school age, irrespective of sex, tribe or religion, through the construction of 15 out of the 28 model colleges of world class standard in North Three Central District of our state. The Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Education, Dr. Mark John Mwau Biala, who was also present at the meeting, stated that the theme for this year's meeting was pertinent and was informed by the need to achieve the national and international obligations. The theme for the 60th National Council on Education meeting, Access and Equity, imperative for national development is pertinent and is informed by the need to attain our national and international obligations such as the education for all the mdgs vision 20 2020 and the transformation agenda of mr president dr goodluck ebele jonathan gcfa the present administration has demonstrated its resolute determination to make quality education accessible to all. And this could be seen through the implementation and establishment of the following strategic initiatives. The National Campaign on Access, One Year Pre-Primary Education, the Alamajiri Education Program, the Girls Education Program, the Nomadic Education Program, Adult and Youth Literacy Program, the Special Needs Program, Albinism Education, Tertiary Education, particularly the establishment of 12 new federal universities. Some other dignitaries also gave their presentations. All I'm asking for is education, education, education. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many countless number of persons with albinism who are leaving schools today simply because they cannot see the blackboard. And the decision we will make here today can stem the tide if we choose to. There can be no doubt at all that education at all levels in Nigeria today needs constant review. And I believe that is why stakeholders that you are have gathered once again to take stock of the happening sector sector and profile ideas that will lift our education everywhere in Nigeria, from the current standards and a bit higher. The ministerial session was also followed by a technical session where matters arising from the 75th Joint Consultative Meeting were discussed. We discovered that when information such as this have been gotten, they are distributed to states and federal capital. Nothing is done to the armed forces. The Nigerian Army, for instance, has about 23 secondary schools 
and for the eight primary schools. So when policy information such as this come out and we don't have them, we begin to go about begging. I think it is proper for NERDC, when they are distributing to states, they should also include Ministry of Defense or the individual services and the paramilitary. Our constraint is resources, and I want to plead if NAEPA could undertake some advocacy visits to even talk to uh, some of our chief executives and see if they could really uh, awaken their consciousness towards this because this is a very important uh, uh, program that if all the states could take part, it will really go a long way. That you have technical colleges does not mean that it should be the only route for vocational training. There are other routes. Even the apprenticeship scheme is there apart from the VEIs, which is the type that you find predominant in places like South Africa and India. And that has been found to be very successful in producing the right kind of workforce for industry at that level. So, I will say that we do not need to have only technical colleges to train people in vocational education. VEI is an alternative approach. Apprenticeship scheme is another alternative approach. MVQ is another alternative approach. How do we ensure that those who are not able to go beyond junior secondary also get some skills to enable them live on with their lives. Those who have gone through senior secondary and get into university, even when they are at university, what kind of extra skills do they require to engage themselves in their world of work with global competitiveness? Two institutions came up as a policy. One, vocational enterprise institutions. For those who have gone through junior secondary, or those who couldn't complete senior secondary, who require some skills and who require some certification with those skills. So that is VEI. The other one was um, Innovative Enterprise Institution, IEI, which is higher. You could go through VEI and graduate into IEI. You could go through university when you come out, you get into IER. The SBMC is very active in, uh, in all our primary schools. Uh, it's just picking up in the secondary schools. Uh, they've supported us in various ways. Even they've assisted to raise some support in terms of money. The, uh, the operational manual for the SBMC was launched early in the year so that they know what to do. And then we trained so many of them in governance and leadership programs. It shows that it's remuneration. We must be able to address this. This is important because the teachers, what we have to remember is that the teacher, as we knew right from our primary school in those days, the, it is the totality of that personality that is standing in front of the class. It's not even a matter of the curriculum. It's a matter of the personality, and we must be able to attract the best brains, the best of our products to be teachers for us to be sure of a, a secured future for this nation. Education Report on TV spoke to those present at the meeting and they shared their views on various issues facing the nation's education sector. So I believe that as a ministry, well, we are trying our best. And I want you to know too that education is on the concurrent list. One of the challenges we have is that when we come to meetings like this, there are policies developed, you understand? We agree we are going to do this. But when states go back, implementation is a problem. We go around to monitor implementation before the next meeting. But we cannot force, you understand? It's because it's on the concurrent list. Some states have challenges. And that is why we are not really getting to where we expect to get to. And we have been encouraging them and we still continue to encourage them. Even at this meeting, we are going to encourage states. It's not all of them that will go into university to do the Greek courses or what have you. But if some of them have the opportunity of going into the technical and vocational institutions, they learn trades, they learn so many things. And fortunately now, about 35 trade subjects have been introduced into the curriculum. It makes it easier. 
you know these children they can use their hands to uh, achieve whatever they want to do in life they learn so many things we are now talking of uh, entrepreneurial skills which will assist which will even further develop our co country socially and economically we don't all have to depend on certificates and uh, mm -hmm. academics that kind of thing but we, we we should focus more on what we can use our hands to do like auto mechanics uh, die, tie and die. There are so many things now in the vocational and technical education system. In Lagos State, we have five technical colleges and we have so, about 25 uh, skill acquisition centers just to encourage these children to make sure that they learn something with their hands. By now, we believe that everybody should have access to education and equitable uh, access. To that matter, for that matter. So um, now that we're talking about accessibility to education and equitable education, I think it's a step in the right direction. It means somebody somewhere has called the vision why Nigeria should be fully literate because without knowledge, there will be development. The Honorable Minister of Education, Malam Ibrahim Shekarau, made it known that attention will be given to finalize the framework regarding guidance and counseling and monitoring other related areas. We are committed to the development of national systems framework to support basic education delivery. In the light of this, concerted attention will be given to the establishment of guidance and counseling centers. Such centers are indispensable in supporting our students and their parents in enhancing quality education outcome. <laughs> to ensure that students are guided towards the right path in terms of career choice so that they are able to contribute better to the society. In this regard, we want to discourage parents dictating and deciding the future of their children by deciding for them what they want to be. We want to institutionalize proper career guidance in our schools so that their talents will be guided to future successes. The Executive Governor of Ogo State, His Excellency Senator Ibikule Amoso, in his remarks stated that the Council has justified its mandates of ensuring the educational advancement of the nation. Of course we are delighted to have you here and this is one out of our desire to continue to contribute meaningfully to the development of a robust educational system that is comparable with what of the advanced democracy in order to achieve national goals and development. The goal of this since the F National Council of Education meeting by the Federal Minister of Education collaboration with the State Ministry of Education, Science and Technology is another effort at harmonizing the educational policies and procedures of all the states of the Federation. The Council has no doubt justified its mandate of ensuring the educational advancement of the nation. The meeting was spiced all by a cultural presentation from the Ogun State Cultural Group the presentation of plaques and the cutting of the cake. I want to say this uh, to the glorious God and uh, to use of the entire Nigerians and uh, we will continue to develop to grow your strength to strength.
Conclusively, the 60th National Council on Education meeting was an all-round success and it is hoped that all the recommendations made will be effectively executed to achieve the desired results. This is to inform all head teachers and principals of public primary and secondary schools in Lagos State to kindly activate the recently issued official email address by following these steps. 1. Visit www.lagosschoolsonline.com 2. Click on the Log On to the Webmail tab 3. Enter your full email address 4. Enter your issued password 5. Change your issued password to enhance the security of your email address For further inquiries, please call 080-3323-2771 or 081-87-60-9231 announcer the Lagos State Ministry of Education.